Welcome to QAC TV Studios, where we're having our first ever in-house cooking show. We're excited. We are excited. And yep. we have Dr. Tracy Davenport Thank from you. Tracy's Healthy Living. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. And we're very excited. What are we making today, Tracy? We are going to make a pumpkin pie smoothie. I'm already excited. Yeah, It's yeah, that time yeah. of year. We're making our pumpkin pie smoothie. Yep. What, what do we need? Well, let's get started with our liquid, okay? Ooh, liquid. Okay, so you don't have to have a fancy blender, but you always want to start with your liquid first on the blade. So whatever kind of smoothie, just that's my secret for you. Go ahead and start with your liquid. We're going to make about one big serving or two small servings if you have kids. Um, probably so about 16 ounces. Enough for everyone's in the studio yes, today except yes. for Chris. That's exactly right. That was the theme I was told. Yes, yes. right. Yeah. So we used almond breeze milk? I use this in case anybody is a vegetarian, does not, or dairy free. Okay. You can use almond milk, coconut milk, rice milk, and of course dairy milk to make okay. it creamy. But your choice. Any of it works and I just kind of wanted to demonstrate. Um, this is vanilla flavored. It's awesome um, as far as the taste, but it has a little more added sugar. So if you're watching your sugar, um, you might want to be aware of that, but for kids, it's really, I think it's fine, especially if athletes in your house like I do, so. Hey, you're a doctor. It. I'm listening yeah, yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what I'm go doing. Ahead. I'm just going to throw anything Yeah, in go here. ahead. All right. And the next thing I'll add is um, yogurt. Vanilla flavor works great. You can use plain yogurt, again, if you're watching your sugar. Greek yogurt is awesome because um, I'm going to use about a half a cup in here, about half a container here. Um, Greek yogurt is really um, nice because it's more protein, spoon for spoon, than other yogurt. Uh, the other thing that's great about yogurt is um, probiotics. It helps with gut health and your immune system. So it not only tastes great in your smoothie, but you get a daily dose of probiotics, which is awesome. The next thing I do is add frozen fruit. Now I have a frozen banana. When you freeze your banana at home, just make sure that you peel it first. It makes life a lot easier once it's frozen. Um, I'm gonna use Protein. a whole frozen banana, and if you do it like this, you don't even need to touch it or use gloves or anything, which is fun in my business. And then I have about probably three quarters of a cup of pumpkin. And what I did is last night I just plopped it by the spoonful into an ice cube tray mm -hmm. and it freezes it, which is gonna make this super creamy pumpkin. This is 100% raw pumpkin that you get in the baking section right. in a can. And what's great about pumpkin, it has about 175% of your daily vitamin A. So My second a, favorite vitamin. Yes, yeah, vitamin A is awesome because it's great for eyesight, um, great overall, and it's a great source. And then the next thing you want to do is give it some spice, and that's going to be pumpkin pie spice. For you the can, flavor. Yeah, you can yeah. buy this at the grocery store. Um, if you don't have pumpkin pie spice, no worries, and you want to make it today, um, just use cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg. That's all this is, just a combination of those. And then I think we might be ready to blend. See, this is so easy. <laughs> so easy, yep. yep so this yep. is great for, even when the kids want a snack, this is great for the kids to help make too. And then we're just gonna fill up our, our containers. Now you were telling me yes. that you actually have a smoothie every day. For the last 30 years. That's amazing. Yeah, um, my roots are in Florida and I met my husband in Florida and down there smoothies are on every corner and we really love smoothies in Florida. Um, it's a great way to get what you need, the vitamins and minerals when you're on the go. Mm -hmm. And you know, we really taught our children that it was a great way to get um, post-workout nutrition, breakfast nutrition, after school snacks. So in our house, we all have a, a smoothie a day. Yeah. Amazing. That's so cool. Yeah. Nice healthy living and they taste great. They taste great. Well, I think. Great. I don't know. I haven't tried You're gonna this like one it. Yet. You're going to like it. I promise. <laughs> um, and then I brought some whipped cream to put on top. Um, this whipped cream isn't, you know, super high calorie. Um, use any kind you want. I was telling you before the show started that you can also get, if you want to go vegan, again, if dairy is a problem for anyone in your family, um, there's a fantastic coconut whipped cream that you can get in the health food stores um, that you'll really enjoy too. So. We'll see if we can do this without making a huge mess. And you have a beautiful pumpkin pie smoothie. And then what you can do for decoration, you can either shave a little bit of dark, dark chocolate on top, mm -hmm. which is high in antioxidants, or you can just sprinkle um, a little more spice and it'll make a great dessert or it can make a great after school snack. 
um, you're ready to go. That looks amazing. Now Thank you have your you. finished product here. Yes. And we can sit right next to your other finished product yes. right over here. Yes. Because if people want your smoothies already made, yes. they can actually already purchase them. Yes, so you can go to my website, Tracy at tracyshealthyliving.com, and I have five smoothies in my line that um, last for seven days in the fridge or freezer um, that are available. Right, and we actually had a chance to meet you at the farmer's market in yes. Kent Island. Yes, And so you're there also selling your smoothies. Yes, on Thursdays at 3.30, every Thursday throughout the year, I'm at the Kent Island Farmer's Market, and I can talk to you about um, healthy behaviors, and I can also talk to you about my smoothies, and my smoothies are available to sell at the Ken Island Farmer's Market. That's great. But you're also up to more than just smoothies, right? Yeah. So, so since, what else do you do? Well, I live outside of Churchill, so my business is in Centerville, and then I'm a health writer since 2004. Um, I was fortunate enough to get my PhD from the University of Delaware, and then I also I help busy professionals get their health back on track. A lot of people, their jobs have really... Um, put them out of whack and they just have a few degrees to go to get their health back, but they're not feeling their best. They know they aren't. And so I have um, performance packages where I help people. Um, I work with them one-on-one -on -one to feel their best. And then I also speak to groups too, um, children and adults about healthy behaviors. Great. Yeah. So you, you have lots of speaking stuff you have doing. You're making these great smoothies. Yep. And we, we want to thank you so much for coming in, spending time, having fun. But yes. I think it might be time for us to Try, try it. Yeah. So we might have <laughs> to turn so these too. cameras off and make sure Chris doesn't get to try it. That's right. That's so thanks right. for coming in. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I loved of course. it. Okay. So hopefully you guys can come and check out another time we have Tracy come in. We'll do uh, some something for Christmas maybe. I think we might be able to do like a peppermint, chocolate, something for the holidays. For sure. So, for sure. So. Yep, we All can right. do that. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. See you guys.